Over the last few years in the Formula 1 world, there has been one debate that everyone has got themselves involved in between two very successful drivers, and that debate is simple. Who is the better driver, Lewis Hamilton or Sebastian Vettel? And in today's video, I'm going to analyse certain areas to determine, in my opinion, who is the better driver out of Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel, and also... I'm going to hopefully end this debate once and for all. So if you want to find out from me who I think the better driver is out of Lewis Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel, make sure to check out this video. But before we get into the certain areas I'm going to analyse first off with driving, let's first look at the tail of the tape. Now when it comes to race wins, Lewis Hamilton has 80 to Vettel's 52. Hamilton also has 143 podiums to Vettel's 115. Hamilton also has 86 pole positions to Vettel's 56. And of course, Lewis Hamilton has five world championships to Sebastian Vettel's four. And of course, when it comes to pole positions, Lewis Hamilton is the record holder in terms of the amount of poles he does have. And as you can see, these two have been very, very successful during their careers. But now let's get into analysing how these drivers are when it comes to driving. Now first off, let's look at qualifying pace. Now for me, Lewis Hamilton comes out on top when it comes to qualifying pace because I think Hamilton is a quicker driver. Even if Sebastian Vettel is you know, at his absolute best, I think Lewis Hamilton is the quicker driver. And I think Hamilton also is definitely a specialist when it comes to qualifying, kind of in a way that Ayrton Senna was. Maybe not as much, but Lewis Hamilton definitely is the better qualifying driver. And also, Lewis Hamilton is able to produce that great pace he does have on a more consistent basis than Sebastian Vettel is. On his day, Sebastian Vettel is very, very quick when it comes to qualifying, but he doesn't do it quite enough to compare to a driver like Lewis Hamilton when it comes to pace on a Saturday. So for me, Lewis Hamilton does come out on top in qualifying pace. Now, when it comes to race pace, I'm going to award Sebastian Vettel this one because I feel as though with Sebastian Vettel, even if his pace that certain weekend or, say, his car that weekend is not performing that well. Sebastian Vettel to me is more consistent when it comes to race pace than Lewis Hamilton is because there has been plenty of days during Hamilton's career where things are not going his way and his race pace compared to his teammate or whoever just isn't that good. And he does have these days, um, well if you add them up over his career he has had quite a lot of them. I'm not denying Sebastian Vettel has had days where his race pace has been very, very poor, but I feel as though over their careers, Vettel is more consistent and better when it comes to race pace than Lewis Hamilton is. So for me, I'm going to go with Sebastian Vettel on this one. But when it comes to wet weather pace, I think it is Lewis Hamilton who is going to take this one because even though, yes, Sebastian Vettel is also good in the wet and has had his good performances in the wet, such as Monza in 2008 or Shanghai in 2009, Lewis Hamilton has better performances in the wet and he does it more on a regular basis than Sebastian Vettel does. Of course, Silverstone 2008, Monaco 2008, those are two performances where Lewis Hamilton was great in the wet. Also, you know, Silverstone in 2016, he was great. Brazil in 2016, he was great. There's been plenty of other, you know, qualifying sessions and races where Lewis has been consistently great in the wet. And that's another thing is that when Lewis Hamilton, when it, you know, starts raining, Lewis Hamilton, no matter what car he is in, is always one of the best on the grid, even if his car is not that good, he's always one of the best on the grid when it starts to rain. With Sebastian Vettel, it's kind of 50-50. Sometimes he's good, but sometimes he really is not. And I think Lewis Hamilton, again, when it comes to wet weather performances, is better than Sebastian Vettel. Next up is aggression while driving, but also being able to control that aggression when racing. Now, for me, it's no contest. Lewis Hamilton wins in this one because you'll notice, especially in the last couple of years, that when Lewis Hamilton decides to be aggressive and go for an overtake, 
it's very rare he makes a mistake or doesn't come out on top in that certain will-to-will -will battle. With Sebastian Vettel, not only is he not that good at aggressive driving, he still cannot balance out when he is aggressive and when he is not aggressive. For example, look at the 2018 Italian Grand Prix where he crashed into Lewis Hamilton. That was not the time to be aggressive, but for some reason he decided to be aggressive and it did not work out for him. And there's plenty of other examples in 2018 such as his crash of Max Verstappen at Suzuka, the Daniel Ricciardo incident at Kota. Vettel is, and he's had this issue throughout his entire career, he's very poor at controlling his aggression at certain points in time. Lewis Hamilton, he is very, very good at it. So for me, Hamilton wins that one, and he also wins out when it comes to consistency, because Lewis Hamilton is, in terms of his greatness, is more consistent with his greatness. With Sebastian Vettel, it really does depend on certain factors, such as, you know, is the car working? Are the tyres working to his liking? Is the track condition working to his liking? Is it a certain, you know, track for him that he does like? Lewis Hamilton is consistently greater, even if he isn't at circuits that, you know, he doesn't like that much, or even if his car is not particularly great on a certain day. And also, when it comes to making errors, Lewis Hamilton is a lot more consistent at not making errors compared to, of course, Sebastian Vettel. And the last two areas we're going to look at is car management and car control. Now, when it comes to car management, I'm going to award Sebastian Vettel this one because his performance of the 2012 Brazilian Grand Prix with that severely damaged Red Bull car that he somehow carried home to P6 in the Grand Prix to win his third driver's title is a great performance and I still to this day don't know how he got to the end of the Grand Prix. Now, Lewis Hamilton has definitely got better at this area, but I don't think there is a certain performance Lewis Hamilton has had when it comes to, you know, bringing a damaged car home. I don't think Lewis Hamilton has had a performance when it comes to that area as good as Vettel's at Interlagos in 2012. So I think Vettel wins out on that one. But when it comes to car control, I think Lewis Hamilton is definitely better than Sebastian Vettel in that because... For example, when you're wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing someone, when there is contact made, say with Lewis Hamilton, he's a lot better at controlling the car and avoiding an accident or hitting the wall or whatever. With Sebastian Vettel, it seems as though any time he makes contact with another driver, he always ends up spinning or crashing out of a Grand Prix. So I think Lewis Hamilton, when it comes to car control, is definitely better. And also to do a wet with the pace that we talked about earlier on, car control is also a vital area when it comes to pace in the wet. And Lewis, for me, is better in the wet than Sebastian Vettel is. So when it comes to car control, I don't think you can really argue against Lewis Hamilton on this one. But well, that's all the driving stuff. Now let's get into the stuff to do with racing. Now, first off, let's look at overtaking. Lewis Hamilton, for me, is a better overtaker. He's more, again, he knows how to control his aggression when he performs an overtake. I think Hamilton has done better overtakes than Sebastian Vettel. I think he is also, another key area, is that he isn't afraid to go wheel-to-wheel -wheel someone. And he isn't afraid to have a bit of contact, but eventually get through and make a great pass. With Sebastian Vettel... He has had a couple very good overtakes, such as on Bottas at the 2017 Spanish Grand Prix, also the 2018 British Grand Prix on Valtteri Bottas. But Vettel, when it comes to overtaking, I feel as though the reason he's not as good as Lewis Hamilton is because he doesn't relish overtaking as much as Lewis Hamilton does. Vettel, when he comes up behind another car, he's a lot more nervous when it comes to overtaking because... He has, I think, a fear of that there's going to be a crash. With Lewis Hamilton, I'm not saying Hamilton doesn't have that fear, but he's not as fearful when it comes to possibly having a crash when racing. I think Lewis is definitely better at getting, you know, stuck in and getting some proper overtakes done when Sebastian Vettel is just not as good for me. 
And also when it comes to defending their position, I think Lewis Hamilton comes out on top again because just look at Lewis Hamilton's performance at Monaco in 2019. Yes, I know it's hard to pass at Monaco, but to hold back a faster car for that long, which was what, 60 plus laps, to hold back a faster car for that long, that just shows you how great of a defender Lewis Hamilton is. And I don't believe Sebastian Vettel would have held back Max Verstappen for 60 plus laps. And I think the key difference between these two, Hamilton and Vettel, when it comes to defending their position is pretty clear. For example, again in Monaco, Hamilton held Verstappen off for that long. But when Vettel had to defend from Hamilton in Canada once Lewis Hamilton got up to the back of Sebastian Vettel's car after the first uh, round of pit stops, Vettel, what, 10 laps into that, you know, battle, cracked under pressure, went off the track, and even though I don't think it was a penalty, it did lead that error to him getting a penalty. That's the key difference between these two when it comes to defending. Lewis Hamilton is basically impossible to overtake unless you're in a much, much faster car. But when you're trying to overtake Sebastian Vettel, one, his defense is not that strong when he you know, isn't making a mistake, but when he is put under pressure for a certain amount of time by a certain driver, eventually Sebastian cracks under pressure. He just does. He cannot handle the pressure of having to defend his position for a certain amount of time like Lewis Hamilton had to do at Monaco, for example. And also, when do you see Lewis Hamilton really being overtaken that much? You know, say lately in Formula 1, you don't really see it. I know he is in a very good team and a very good car, but he is still racing plenty of people. And again, it's very rare you see people passing him for position. I know Vettel passed him in Austria, but again, if you look at plenty of examples, say this year, last year, the year before, it is quite rare that Lewis Hamilton gets comfortably overtaken for example like Max Verstappen did to Sebastian Vettel at Silverstone where Max Verstappen you have to say before Vettel hit him Verstappen did comfortably pass him around the outside at Stowe Corner. So when it comes to defending I think Lewis Hamilton is and also when it comes to racing I think Lewis Hamilton absolutely is the better driver. Now the last area we are going to look at as we did with Verstappen and Leclerc is mentality. Now in other driver comparisons, this might be a bit closer than normal, but when it comes to Hamilton versus Vettel, I'm sorry, it's a landslide in Lewis Hamilton's favour because Sebastian Vettel is mentally weak. Lewis Hamilton is mentally strong. And in basically every key area that you've got to be good at mentally, Sebastian Vettel is not good at. For example, pushing within your mental limits. I don't think Vettel is that great at that. Delivering laps and overtakes when it really does matter. When it comes to delivering, say, a great qualifying lap, Sebastian Vettel is not as good as Lewis Hamilton at that. You know, again, delivering a qualifying lap when it matters most. Also, consistently driving without little error. How many times in the last year or so has Vettel made errors that have cost him, you know, podium finishes, race wins, a ton of points? How many times has he done it? Not only in the last year, but during his career. He's done it so, so many times. He cannot consistently drive without error, especially if he's in a, say, non-comfortable position having to race other people. Also, when it comes to confidence, I think Lewis Hamilton has always been a more confident driver because, again, when it comes to, say, racing, Hamilton is a lot more keen to get stuck in when Vettel is not. And the last key area when it comes to mentality that I have listed down is... Maintaining a great level, even if you are under great pressure. Again, no contest. Lewis Hamilton is clearly better. Whenever great pressure is put upon Sebastian Vettel, he cracks. Most times out of 10. With Lewis Hamilton, it's rare that he does crack under pressure when he is under great pressure like he was at Monaco in 2019 with Max Verstappen. It's very, very rare that Lewis Hamilton cracks under pressure with Vettel. It's a regular occurrence. And guys, those are all the areas that I'm going to look at with Lewis Hamilton against Sebastian Vettel. And for me, as you can tell, I think Lewis Hamilton is quite clearly the better driver in most areas that I have looked at. And also, 
when you know we rank these drivers in terms of comparing them to the all-time great drivers for me lewis hamilton is an all-time great i don't believe sebastian vettel is because for the simple reason that how many all-time great drivers make the amount of silly driving and mental mistakes that he has made over his career you won't find any because great drivers don't make that many key mental and driving errors that Sebastian Vettel has over his career. And also, if you look at all the all-time great drivers, none of them are mentally weak, but Sebastian Vettel is. So I cannot rank him as a great or an all-time great driver because he's too mentally weak and he makes way too many errors. Whilst Lewis Hamilton is mentally strong, like an all-time great driver, and he has the talent, speed, and everything that you need to be an all-time great driver. So hopefully, from my point of view, that has ended the debate when it comes to these two, because I think the last two years especially has shown that Lewis Hamilton clearly is the better driver, especially after 2018, where for me, Lewis was driving a car that was not as good and he still comfortably won his fifth world championship. And really if 2018 doesn't prove to you who is the better driver then I can't really help you. I think at this point it is pretty clear who is the better racing driver but in the comments section let me know who you think is the better driver and for what reasons and also if you disagree with certain things that I said make sure to put it in the comments down below. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. But also, don't forget to comment down below any other driver comparison videos you would like to see from me. The next one, if this video is successful, the next one will be Sebastian Vettel versus Fernando Alonso, which I know you guys are going to find very, very interesting. But also, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. And also, smash the like button for more content like this. But until the practice two watch along for the 2019 German Grand Prix tomorrow at 1.30pm UK time, it has been me, Chazer HD. Goodbye.